Uh, I'm Inga Reist, the director of the Center for the History of Collecting here at the Frick Collection and Frick Art Reference Library, and I'd like to welcome you back to this, our second day of our symposium on America and the Art of Flanders, collecting paintings of Rubens and Van Dyck and their circles. Yesterday, my colleague Esme Quadbach, who has been the principal organizer of this symposium, uh, introduced four fascinating speakers. Many of you heard them. Uh, our keynote address by Arthur Wheelock gave us a much needed and marvelous, marvelously crafted overview of the topic, and that was followed by Lance Humphreys and Margaret Laster's presentations on early 19th century collectors of Flemish art in America. Adam Eaker then rounded out our program uh, with his elegant paper that directly related to our Van Dyck exhibition, which I hope all of you will take in if you haven't already during the breaks that we have during the course of the day. As always, one or two thank yous are in very much in order. So before we begin this morning's program, I'd like to express my gratitude to Joyce Cowan and others who have supported this event, uh, as I also give my heartfelt thanks, as I always do, to my colleagues in the center, the assistant directors, Samantha Deutsch and Esme Quadbach. Uh, they so tirelessly see to the details and the execution of our event, whether it's the audio-visual checks, the registration list, or food and wine. Uh, for those of you who are regulars uh, at these uh, semi-annual symposia that we stage, um, this now is our 17th, by the way, uh, that we've hosted, you are aware that we often go outside of our Frick uh, comfort zone to explore topics that include photography, Latin American art, collecting Chinese and Japanese art, and, uh, but this one uh, is, uh, falls very happily and um, squarely in the realm of the Frick's uh, areas of interest. Uh, as much a division of cultural history as art history, our field of the history of collecting focuses primarily on people and their shifting tastes, their behavior vis-a-vis -vis the marketplace, and, their, and among their peers uh, and fellow collectors, and occasionally on their follies, too. Um, for this symposium, uh, we don't have to stray very far, though the Frick doesn't have a Rubens, sadly, but with eight glorious Van Dykes in our exhibition, I think we can have a strong identity with our topic. So without further ado, let me ask you to please silence your cell phones while I introduce our first speaker, really reintroduce our first speaker of the day.